Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel Make It Make Sense, okay? And we have an interesting story we're going to be talking about tonight. And it has, uh, I tell you, it has a lot of dynamics to it with, you know, you think the wrong thing, it goes wrong. You think the right thing, it goes south. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Maybe you don't know what I'm saying, but I'm pretty much talking about Dwayne Wade and his son turning into a girl, but he dates a girl who is dressed in and acts like a boy, but she's a biological girl that he is in a relationship with. I don't know if they're still in the relationship, but the last time I checked, they were in a relationship. Okay. Uh, and it has the findings of a heterosexual relationship because technically he was born a boy and he's going with a girl who was te technically born a girl but acting like a boy. Now, you, you may try to make sense out of that shit, okay? But I found it very interesting, very interesting that um, Dwayne Wade's first wife would be doing what she's doing. And I ain't mad at her, really. I ain't mad at her because, you know, you got these kids thinking they this, that, and the third, and then when they get of age, they be... Blaming the parent on why you let me do this. You know I was a child, this, that, and the third. Because don't no 15-year-old know everything. I'm sorry they don't, you know. And uh, for you to be changing the sex and the name of the child, when there's really no reason to do that, if they feel that they are, in his case, he feels he's a girl, then he just you know, still keep his name, you know what I'm saying, for legal purposes, because you never know, Dwayne Wade might pass away, and they might want uh, the, the son to come out of him, not the female, you know what I'm saying, and if he changes his name and do all this stuff, and Dwayne don't change his will uh, to protect his son, now daughter, uh, it may be a legal battle. It may be a legal battle. I feel like anything when it comes to same-sex relationships and this, that, and third, be of age, be of sound, how you call it, sound mind and body when you go making these things and these changes, especially having these surgeries, and you have a glimpse of, uh, what do you call it, a, a, a hesitation, then you damn sure shouldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? But I can understand and I can uh, be in the mother's corner. You know what I'm saying? If you want to do all this, do this when you turn 21. You're allowed to drink when you're 21. You're allowed to go out there and kill someone and be 21 and have to go to prison. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no juvenile detention or no juvenile jail. No, you're going to get the full realms of what adult really have to go through when they do stupid shit. Okay, but um, yeah, I found this article on uh, Marca, M A R C A dot com. Wrote a blog article about Dwayne's ex wife that's trying to put some litigation on his behind on how he's pimping out his daughter. You know, trying to get all these different types of endorsements uh, from the LGBT community. And, you know, him and Gabrielle is like the poster child. I'm like, are you for real? You know what I'm saying? Let the girl be. Let her go to school. Let her get her education. Let her find herself. Let alone being in a closet, being in a bubble. She's going to have to interact with the real world. And it's not going to be where her privilege of being wealthy is going to get her through uh, life. You know what I'm saying? She's going to meet a lot of different people from a lot of different cultures and from a lot of different uh, perspectives. You see what I'm saying? Nah, she's going to get someone that's not going to be for her. You know, but she may get more for her than against her. But she's still going to have to come and count of having her interaction with somebody that just don't believe what she's doing is right. Okay, so, yeah, um, let me see. Do we have somebody? I would like to, okay, I guess it was a marker uh, employee, okay? They titled it as uh, Dwayne Wade to be sued by ex-wife over gender reassignment of one of their children, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh... <clears throat> Dwayne Wade shares two children with ex-wife Siobhan, Siobhan or Shavana functions a good two years ago. One of their children went public that she was transgender and would like to be treated as a woman from now on. She promptly admitted herself as Sion Zaya Wade, 15, and changed her name with the support of her father, who was always by her side. 
However, her mother strictly against it because Zaya is still too young and is taking legal action against the name and gender change. Now, Dwayne's ex refiled documents for the lawsuit. Now, I, you know, I don't know how they got separated or how he got custody of all the children over her, but I really would have thought it would have been like a mutual agreement that they both have a say uh, when it comes to the rearing of their child. Now, did she do something that I'm missing, y'all? Because, yeah, I was sue his behind, too. You Just because my kids, you know, not with me for whatever reason don't mean that I can't have a say-so in how we do this thing that she's trying to do because it's major. It's a major situation. So we're going back to the article. It says, as Radar Online reported, uh, Ms. Fonchon's lawyer was in court on Friday and filed a copy of the 2011 divorce decree, which is said to support her lawsuit. Accordingly, Dwayne must specifically discuss major decisions affecting the care, the welfare, the activities, the health, the education, and religious upbringing of their two children. The basketball star ignored that after Zaya came out as transgender. Okay, further, she argued that Wade may be pressuring our child to move forward with the name and gender change in order to capitalize on the financial opportunities that he has received from companies. Now, I would just add my little piece in now. Where does Gabrielle Union stand in all of this? Is she, you know, she look like the poster child too. Be said not there taking pictures with um Zion, with with she wants to be called Cy, Zion now, but we know her as Zion, okay? The cute little handsome boy. But uh, yeah, you got to throw some, got to throw some rain over there with Gabrielle Union because that's probably where it got spearheaded. And she just went full throttle on it, thinking everybody's going to be on the playground, uh, feeling the same way she was feeling. It was like a no-go. No-go. Okay? But anyway, he he took everything um, to bat because he's making the money and she's not, you know, so much financially, gainfully uh, rich in a sense than he is, or wealthy, I should say. But uh, it don't make no sense. He, he still shouldn't have all to say. He shouldn't have all to say now. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, Fancha said her ex said he planned to make Zaya very famous due to the name and gender issue. Okay. <clears throat> well, by stating that, if he did say that, then, yeah, he's an opportunist. He's looking for a financial gain. Uh, and is all that money going to go to her in a, in a stock or a portfolio or some type of uh, – Money she can't touch until she turned 21. It's all these revenue streams he's trying to build for her, both him and Gabrielle. Is all the money going straight to her account? Okay. I'm just saying it's only fair. Uh, but going back to the article, it says, given Wade's high-profile status as a professional athlete, our children lives or our children lives have been highly publicized, Bunch of said. <clears throat> Uh, Wade has appeared on national television shows and in media reports regarding our child's name and gender change. I am concerned that our child is being commercialized at a young age and also of the uncontrollably consequences of media exposure, cyberbullying statements, and or pictures taken out of the context of our child and unwanted spotlight focused on our child. Funches asked the court to not allow Zaya to change her name until she is 18. However, Dwayne made it clear that he had full authority to make the name change under the terms of the final custody of judgment. Wade has full authority to make decisions on behalf of the minor petitioners and is not required to obtain Mrs. Funches' consent. Court documents say it. Now, like I said, I don't know what transpired to where she is seen as a lesser than parent of the children, where she can't voice her opinions and they be uh, loudly heard and taken in consideration. Um, I really don't understand that, okay? If anybody knows uh, why she lost custody of her children to Dwayne, other than it being like he is... Um, one of those men that I make the most money, I'm gainfully employed, you're not, so I make all the decisions when it comes to our children. Damn that, damn that, okay? Get a GoFundMe, Miss Funches, get a GoFundMe to help fight whatever Dwayne Wade is trying to do that you feel is not in the best interest of your child, okay? That's all I'm saying. 
I mean, I'm for mother's rights and I'm for father's rights. But when you have children, you have to be on one accord. You have to be in the same book, reading the same book, okay? You can't be reading Moby Dick and she over there reading Scarlet Letter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. They have to be on one accord for anything to seem like it will be able to work for her in the future. Because discord brings chaos. Chaos brings madness. Madness brings any unstable situation uh, will boil to a head and you are going to have a catastrophe on your hands. So hopefully prayers go up to uh, both parents where they can sit down and hear one another instead of, you know, taking things and putting it on social media, going through the court system, dragging each other instead of what's best for the child. You know, even if they have to get some psychologists in it. And prayer does help. <sighs> but that's all I got, y'all. Y'all get out in the comments. Tell me what y'all thought about this. Do y'all think Miss Funches need to be on his ass and taking him to court and get some of her uh, power back? Or should she just let it, should let it lay low? You know, let it lay low. All right, but that's all I got. I ain't got no more for this particular story. But I'll be back with some more. You know me. Okay. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.